The last time we looked at one of HP's premium Spectre X360 convertible notebooks, we were blown away by its elegance, strong hardware, and superb keyboard. But it was only a 13-inch model. What if HP took all of that awesomeness and packed it into a gigantic 16-inch laptop? That is essentially what the company is giving with its new HP Spectre X360 16. It's massive, it's lovely, and this time it's fitted with NVIDIA's new RTX 3050 GPU. The X360 16 is a convincing option if you want a laptop with a huge screen that can also handle some gaming and artistic work. Before we continue with our evaluation of the HP Spectre X360 16, a large and elegant convertible laptop, please subscribe to our channel, like it, and click the notification icon to be notified when I add new videos. Let's get started. Surprisingly, when it comes to powerful large screen convertibles, HP doesn't have much competition. Dell hasn't updated the XPS 15 2 in 1 in years, with LG similar grams prioritizing portability over power. It's possible that other corporations were put off by the presence of big laptops with spinning displays. The 4.4 pound X360 16 is weighty in comparison to the 3 pound 13 inch model. However, it's not dissimilar to the 4.3 pound MacBook Pro 16. If you want a huge display, you've probably already resigned yourself to lugging about a heavy machine. At the very least, it's lighter than the XPS 17, which can weigh up to 5.5 pounds. In terms of design, the Spectre X360 16 is more opulent than Dell's minimalist XPS range. Both brands chose sleek all-metal enclosures, although HP's hardware has metallic accents along the edges. Even the hinges get some bling. The Spectre line used to focus more heavily on a bejeweled aesthetic, but HP is now attempting to tone things down while giving some flair. The X360 16 have an artisanal feel thanks to the details like the case's cut-off corners and somewhat softer edges. It doesn't appear like a standard PC, and that's the goal. The X360, like many other 16-inch laptops we've seen recently, replaces a 15-inch model by shrinking bezels and adopting a bigger 16 by 10 aspect ratio. HP was able to squeeze a larger display into a comparable sized case. According to HP, this results in a screen that is 22 millimeters higher and has 11% greater vertical viewing surface. Our evaluation device had a 4K plus OLED panel that looked stunning no matter what I was viewing. I'll bet I'm a sucker for OLED's deep black depths and vibrant colors. If you don't want to pay a premium for OLED, there are alternative 3K plus LED panels available. Unfortunately, the X360 lacks HDR and Dolby Vision compatibility like Dell's XPS range as well as a high 120Hz refresh rate like the Surface Laptop Studio. For others, the lack of those capabilities may be a deal breaker, especially if you intend to watch a lot of HDR content or are drawn to the smoothness of a huge refresh rate display. However, if you're moving from an older PC, the X360 screen will be a huge improvement. The X360 16 can be opened with one hand thanks to HP's convertible hinge. Because of the system size, turning it into a tent or tablet mode requires a little more effort. The tent shape like any convertible PC is a good method to prop up the X360 if you're just reclining in bed. You can also flip the keyboard upside down to make the display stand on its own, which could be useful if you only need an extra screen to go with your desktop. However, I didn't find the X360's tablet mode to be particularly useful or helpful. It's simply too hefty to hold for long periods of time and it's plain uncomfortable to use. In terms of work, typing this review on the X360 made me fall even more in love with HP's full-size keyboard than I did with the 13-inch model. It's broad enough for me to stretch my fingers comfortably and each key has a gratifying amount of travel. It's almost as if the concert piano asking to be played. My only grip is that it's a little out of the ordinary. There's a little fingerprint sensor instead of a right control key, as well as a slew of specialized function buttons to learn. On the bright side, the touchpad has grown by 39% while remaining exceptionally smooth and dependable. Our review unit was the top of the line $2,030 model, an Intel Core i7-11390H CPU, no 12th generation compatibility yet, 16 GB of RAM, Nvidia's RTX 3050 GPU, and a 1TB NVMe SSD 
with 32 GB of Intel Optane memory are included. The X360 handled basic work activities with ease, not surprising considering its capabilities. And I loved how lively it made Windows 11 seem. It launched programs quickly and showed no symptoms of slowing down when I added more and more browser tabs. The only thing that let it down was its disk speeds. According to the ATDO bench, it had average write speeds of roughly 2 GBs and read rates that were much slower than the majority of notebooks on the market today. That is quite remarkable for an NVMe solid-state drive. When we questioned HP about these difficulties, a spokesperson stated that Optane drivers can occasionally exhibit lower performance estimates, especially when evaluating huge volume of data. We run the ATTO benchmark with a 4GB file setting. In overall system benchmarks, the X360-16 performed comparable to last year's Surface Laptop 4, 15, and Asus ZenBook Duo. However, I expected greater figures because it has a more powerful GPU than either of those systems. The RTX 3050 is NVIDIA's entry-level model, although significantly outperforms Intel's integrated XE graphics, it was also enough for basic 1080p gaming. I had no issue playing a few rounds of Halo Infinite with the visual set to medium. The X360-16 is a good choice if you want to play a few games every now and then, perhaps on a boring work trip when you don't want to carry about a heavy gaming laptop. Big displays, on the other hand, use a lot of energy, so I wasn't shocked when the X360 only lasted 10 hours and 55 minutes during our battery test. HP claims it can run for up to 17 hours on mixed use, although it's unclear how it tested it. Our benchmark is based on looping and HD video, so it's not exactly demanding. I wouldn't expect a 16-inch laptop to easily approach the 15-hour battery life found on smaller computers, but the X360 still provides enough juice to go through a work day. Convertible's ability to be adaptable in several ways is a strong selling advantage. The X360-16 is equally at home in bed as it is in a professional meeting. The supplied pen which magnetically connects to the side of the laptop is also useful for taking notes and drawing simple pictures, and considering the importance of video conversations these days, the X360 comes with a 5 megapixel webcam and a few software tools to enhance your appearance. It's certainly a step up over the 720p cameras we've been seeing in the recent years. For those concerned about their privacy, you can physically block the camera by pressing a function key as well as mute the microphone. In addition to two USB-C ports, a USB Type-A port, in a handy drop-down slot, a full-sized HDMI socket, and a micro SD card slot unlike many other style-focused laptops. HP provides a plethora of connectors. Yes, the headphone port is still present. HP isn't abandoning it like Dell did with the new XPS 13 Plus. While the X360 can be charged through USB-C, it also comes with an AC adapter that fits into a barrel connector. As much as I adore our review model's OLED screen, the $1,700 LED-equipped X360-16 with the same CPU, RAM, and RTX 3050 GPU is a great deal. It comes with a smaller 512 GB SSD, but you can always increase it later. If gaming performance isn't a priority, the $1,500 entry-level model forgoes the RTX 3050 in favor of Intel's XE graphics. HP could have easily benefited as the only big-screen convertible game in town with the Spectre X360-16. Instead, it gives us a strong premium notebook that can perform some gaming in the midst of a flurry of Zoom conversations while also looking beautiful. That's all for now, guys. Thank you for spending some time with us. And if you found this video interesting, please press the like button and the notification bell. Subscribe to our channel and leave your ideas in the comment box to gain access to more fascinating videos from us. Thanks for watching.